Hello friend, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nuts video series on data structure and algorithm series and this is a min heap and a max heap topic. So in this video we will learn what is min heap and max heap and how to implement that and what is the use of it and the complexity and all that. So don't miss anything, watch the video till the end. So min heap is nothing but it's a complete binary tree. Okay. And we generally use array to represent this. So let's suppose this is your array, ARR, these are the values and these are the index. So you might be wondering why this is starting with one. Actually, we keep this null, I mean empty or something. So we don't use this zeroth position. We can use it, but for simplicity, we don't use that. Now, as this is array and we have to convert this into a tree, let's see how we'll do that. First is your one and then four and then three and then we have this seven, right? So seven and then eight and then nine. So you notice, right, that we are moving from top to bottom and left to right. So until unless your left element is filled, you will not go ahead and fill the right one. No. Okay. So we have to fill in this order. First, you will Put here, then here, then here, then you will start from left here, here, here and here. So then only it is going to be a complete binary tree clear. So this is how you will insert elements and the indexing goes like this. We have number one here, two here, three here, four, fifth, sixth and seven. So these red colors are the indexes and 10, nine, eight, all these blue colors are the value. But then you will think like, okay, if I want to get the parent of this or the child of this or this or this or this, how I am going to get it. So it is very simple. The formula to get the left child is LC left child is two into I, where I is the index and right child RC is equal to two multiplied by I plus one. So this is for right and this is for left child. And for parent P, this is I divided by two flooring. Okay. Now let's apply. I want to get the parent of three. What is the index three? So three divided by two, I'm going to get parent, right? So this is the formula three divided by two. It is 1.5 and the flooring is one. So whatever is there at index one is the parent. So see, this is correct. I want to see the parent for eight, which is at two. So five divided by two is going to be 2.5. And then that is two because we will see flooring, right? So see it is at four. Now let's see how to calculate left child and right child. Left child for one is two, right? See how we'll get it. LC is equal to two multiplied by one is going to be two. So see left child for one is at second location in the array. And similarly, right child is two multiplied by one plus one, which is three. So see right child for one is at three third location. So this is very simple trick. Number one, number two, and number three. If you remember this, you are done. And why it is possible? Because we are storing this array in this fashion. First you store one node here and then here and then here, then here, 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 like this. Okay. If you are not doing this, then you cannot have this formula. So storing is very important. Okay. So, so far we have seen how to convert this array into a tree and what are the indexes and how you access from parent to child nodes and from child node to parent nodes. Okay. So with these formulas, you can do that. This is your tree representation, but this is not a heap tree. Okay. This is not a heap tree, heap tree, either binary min or binary max heap tree store the data in some specific order. What is that order? So the root of the tree is always going to be a maximum number if it is maximum heap or it is going to be if this is tree, this is going to be minimum out of all the nodes in the tree if it is min tree. Okay. So if you see this array, what is the maximum 10? Right. So if it is max heap, then 10 will come here. And then we don't know what are the orders for this. We know partially, but not the exact order. Meaning uh, 
एट एंड नाइन सी मे बी नाइन मे कम हियर एंड एट मे कम हियर इफ यू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ ट्री हियर देन नाइन मे कम हियर एट मे कम हियर और एट मे कम हियर और नाइन मे कम हियर ओके सो दिस ऑर्डर वी डोंट नो बिकॉज दिस इज अ मिन और मैक्स हिप ट्री वट वी कैन be sure of is like this is going to be the maximum element out of all the nodes i mean all the elements and if it is minimum heap then the root is going to be the minimum element from all the nodes so that's the key okay now let's see how to convert this array i mean tree into a max heap tree so to convert that you have to know one thing from where to start so the basic point is if you have a tree you just leave all the leaf nodes so if you have tree like this then your leaf node start from and divided by 2 plus 1 then and divided by 2 plus 2 and then it will go till n meaning this 4 5 6 and 7 so you know that because it is a complete binary tree these are the leaf nodes you have to skip these nodes and work on remaining nodes so remaining nodes are 4 3 and 1 so you will work on 4 3 and 1 only you will not start from 7 8 9 or, or 10 okay so let's see how it goes so let's say we'll start from 3 2 and then 1 so we'll go in descending order okay so your for loop should go from i is equal to 3 it should go till i is equal to 1 okay now let's see how we heapify so this process is called heapifying you are heapifying the tree so as we are starting with index 3 let's deal with this so if you see in this loop you are actually going upward so 3 to 2 2 to 1 so see you are actually going upward in this for loop but the heapifying process will move downwards okay you will start from any node and then you will go ahead and do the computation or the comparison with the children and then you will go further in the bottom of the tree you will not go up but this outer loop will keep on picking and this will move upward don't worry if you didn't get it we'll see this so as you are going to process 3 we will check as this is maximum and i told you we have to move the maximum element in the top so here is the rule if you have a node its left children and right children should be lesser than this node if it is maximum i mean max heap so this can be 5 this can be 3 this can be 4 okay so this is correct max heap this is not correct max heap 4 5 or 3 no this is not correct max heap then you have to heapify it so you have to move this 5 to this location and 4 will come here then it will be be a correct order and the same thing will be applied to all the nodes so that is what we are going to do we are going to heapify it that's the job to apply that formula that parent cannot be lesser than the children that's the whole idea if it is max heap otherwise it is just reverse if it is min heap parent would always be lesser than the children's okay just remember that then only if you will compare with each and every node eventually if it is min heap the parent would be the smallest number and if it is max heap the parent would be the biggest number so see we are going to compare this third index with sixth and seven because we know we can get these nine and 10 we'll see which one is the highest among 3 9 and 10 answer is 10 so we will move 10 here and 3 will come here so this is going to be like this we have 1 and then 10 will come here and 3 will come here we have 9 here 4 here 8 here and 7 here all right so after moving this we know that i'll swap here only we have 10 here and 3 here so we have swapped these two numbers now as you have swapped now you will check this guy because i told you right you will move towards downwards so then you will check this 3 but this is a leaf node it doesn't have any children so you will skip it okay so then you will go to another one here so that is 2 then we'll start from here so out of these two 
which one, I mean, out of all these three, which one is the bigger one? Eight. So let's swap that four with eight. So this is eight and this is four. And then we'll come here. Okay. We'll try to process this, but this is leaf node. We'll leave it. And then we are done. So then we'll go and process this one. So index one. Now see which one is the greatest among all these three, one, two, and three, eight, 10 or one, 10 is the greatest, right? So we'll move 10 here. So 10 will come here and one will come here. So now see as one have come here and this is not leaf node, we'll process this node. So we'll process meaning what? Then we'll compare this with the children's. So out of these three, which one is the bigger? Nine is the bigger, right? So then we'll move nine here and one here. So nine will come here and one will come here. And then we'll try to process this, but this is already a leaf node. So we will not go ahead. We'll just stop this. So see, now we have a heapified tree. This is a correct max heap tree. Every parent node is following this rule, right? That parent will be bigger than the children. See, eight is bigger than seven and four. 10 is bigger than eight, nine, four, seven, one, three, and nine is bigger than one and three. Cool, right? So we talked about max heap. If you want to create a min heap, then in that case, one will come here. Okay. One will always be here. And we started from three to one, right? That process will be same. We'll always start with n by two, and then we'll go towards one. So we'll still try with, I mean, start with this three in case of min heap, but I was looking for the maximum out of these three, right? But now I will look for the minimum one and then I will swap. So before the condition was, I was searching maximum out of these. Now I will search for minimum. If I get the minimum and nine is not the minimum, then I will swap that value. Then you will get the minimum heap tree. Let's quickly look at the code for this. So see, we'll call this build heap function with this array and see, I told you, right, we'll start from i is equal to n divided by two, and then we'll keep doing minus minus and we'll go towards one. Okay. And then we'll call this heapify with index. Okay. So initially we had passed three, right? So this time also we'll pass three, three will come here. And then we have to pass this. What is the size of the array? We have to pass this third element also n. Okay. So size of this n is we have how many elements? Seven elements. So seven is the size. We have seven here and this is the array. And see, you get the left child like this. You get the right child like this. I told you, right? See, this is how it is. We have left child and right child. And then see, we will check if left is less than or equal to n. So this particular condition is for leaf checking. Okay. Because eventually you will come down. So you should not check the leaves. So this is the condition for that. If your left is a valid index, if it is not a leaf, I mean, if I is not at the leaf, it is having left and right. Then in that case, we'll check array of left is greater than array of I, meaning we started from here. Remember? So I'll check if this is greater than left. If this is true, then I will say my largest is left. So I'll just temporarily mark my this is the largest among these two, this one and this one. Okay. And then I'll go further and check. Now I will check with right. Correct. So if my array is right, which is this position is greater than my array is largest. So whatever I have found the largest one, I'll check and compare with that. Right. So if that is true, then we'll make right as the largest. Otherwise this is the largest. Okay. And else with this is largest is equal to I meaning if we compared this guy with this guy and if this is the situation we have nine here and one here in that case nine is less than one no it is not so we will not do this operation then we'll say largest is the I so basically nine is the largest meaning third index is still holding the largest one okay and then we'll see array of right which is seven index is greater than array of largest largest is still three, right? So three, so array of seven is three and array of three is nine. So this is also not true. So we'll not assign this. And then at last we'll say if largest is not equal to I, meaning I have to swap or something, then only I will swap. 
otherwise if this is the largest i won't do anything i mean i will not swap and i will not move further i'll just go return from there okay if if i am supposed to swap anything meaning either left or right is bigger than my current value then i will swap it and then i will call this max hp fire recursively with the largest and largest would be that index which i have just recently swapped with see i swapped array of i which is my current position with largest one right then i will send largest and then it will call itself again and then see i told you right it will go downwards so then it will keep on going downwards and once it is finished then we'll say okay now you hipify the second number meaning initially we sent with 3 then we'll send with 2 so then we'll start with this and then it will compare with these two and then these two will be leaf node so it will stop then we'll compare with 1 and this is how it will go so this is like build max heap and max heapify if you want to see a uh, build min heap this is going to be exactly same there is no change in this build min heap and this min heapify function will have only one change this is going to be less than this and this is going to be less than this otherwise all these things are going to be same okay and obviously this largest variable name you can keep it as a smallest variable name so that just nothing so these two are the important changes and rest code will be same and the complexity is order of log n and for each n we have n log n so your heapifying will take n log n time but you might be saying like we are going from n divided by 2 to 1 so this should be n divided by 2 but still it's like n log n but there is a better approach so this video is a little big i'll explain that better approach which takes order of n okay and let's quickly talk about what is the use of this data structure so basically now you would have understood that see either it is binary min hap uh, hap <laughs> so either this is binary min heap or max heap it is having a very interesting property if it is min heap then the root is going to have the minimum number among all the nodes if it is max then the root element is having the biggest number among all the numbers so if you are in a situation that you will have data coming from some stream continuously and you have some corpus here which you maintain so you have so much of data so this is like data for you and then you want to see the maximum out of it or maybe the sixth maximum out of this data now you're getting that sense yeah maybe this is your data with maybe thousands of nodes or elements and i want 100th maximum data then this heap would be very interesting because on top you will have sorry this will be just two so on top you will have always the maximum one the moment you remove it the next guy or the node which is going to be the root will be the next biggest element among all the nodes okay like that if you remove 100 times okay then you have the 100th maximum number okay so if you are dealing with these kind of problems then this data structure is going to be very helpful so here we have learned what is heapify in next video i'll explain you like how to insert and delete the nodes from min heap and maxi so till then i'll see you in the next videos guys bye bye take care